AI, the, the player is fine, but the, the AI was, you know, trying to balance looking at the character while looking at, I mean, while, you know, uh, playing animations that faced away from the character at the same time. So, um, that is what the second part of this video is about. So that it took so long. So to fix that, what I did was, um, so I opened up the, the, uh, behavior tree came in here and then on this uh, look at EC thing. So initially I just set it to, you know, something, of course you could just go on ahead and remove this entirely. You know, like you could just go on ahead and delete it, so it's not even there, so it doesn't happen. If you do that, then all you want to do is just drag out and like use a. You can just come in here and because this already exists within the tasks here. You know, you already have. It's one of the things that I included. To look at, but in your own version, this is what would be in there. It would just be this connected to that. You know, so I decided to just tweak it a little bit, and that tweak is just what I'm you know, about to explain. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so um, in the first place, what happens here is that the AI, if it finds an EC, EC means uh, here it means uh, enemy character. So if it finds a valid enemy character is this one it sets it as its target and then it finds a distance to it every 0 0.1 seconds to 0 0.3 seconds and then it attempts to look at it every 0 0.002 seconds initially remember i just changed that to 100,000 seconds as the interval but the reason i did this is to to minimize the automatic look at so um what happens here now is that the ai if, if i if i remove this it means that the AI is not going to prioritize looking at the character at all, I believe. So this is what we have. You can see the AI is not looking at the character, it's just doing its own thing. So, how, you know, for it to come here, the AI goes back and it would seem that, the, you know, the AI is like looking towards the character when moving towards the character. And that's because the move itself has, you know, the, the move to node itself has uh, something for the character to look. I mean, the character obviously has to look at where it's going, right? So it's not necessarily like updating in real time like the look at EC node was. So, however, what I want to do is okay, what if the character is like close to the AI? What then? I mean, does the AI just keep on not bothering about looking at the character? Is that what's going to happen? So what I decided to do was um, edit this look at EC node that you already have. So uh, what I'm going to do is just put it here. And what I did was, okay, before that, uh, okay, well, I don't know, let me explain this first. What I did was in here, you know, like I said, this was connected to this. And what this does is inside of your man BP itself, you have this. Now you have several different look at ec functions that i mean events that are created here for you which are also functions anyway so um but i'm deciding to use this one now you know because i want to uh interpolate the actual looking at to the character so we also have an event to clear the timer that is going to be used here so that clear look at and call look at are both in here so this is clear look at this is call look at and then the task itself is also a blueprint it has a parent task which is here now this parent task also has <coughs> uh you know some variables that are added in there so these variables would also would always be uh, available on any child of this parent task and all of these are children of this parent task it's just a custom task so it means that we can use it like in here, for example, you can see the delay before finished. You can see them here. And they are, you know, things that we can just quickly edit on the fly. 
for every single node like I can edit this one to be three between one and three seconds and I could bring another one and change this one to be four or whatever but you can you can see the difference you know like this one doesn't have it because it's not a child of this uh, custom task uh, node the, the parent task I hope you understand what I'm saying so far so close that and then back to what I was saying before so now it's going to be calling this parent function itself so this is going to set a timer that is going to loop 0.002 seconds every time it's going to attempt to look at the enemy character and what that means is going to be setting the actual rotation but finding the rotation for the interpolation you know by using the characters actual current load, uh, rotation as the current view and then it's going to find where to look at which is the you know enemy character which in this case would be our player character right so the ai wants to look at our player character so that's what you basically have here this current is basically where it is currently looking at and the target is our player character's you know uh, rotation from its own view viewpoint you know that's what this is about so um however in the art of combat by default these this two you won't see this two in there i just created this two just now um this is just a uh, um, this is pro this is probably set to 0 0.0001 I think let me see what are the default values for this yeah it's set to 0 0.0001 and this is just set to 0 so the way this works if you just do that you can see the way they work so basically these two are the things that we're going to be you know uh, tweaking out just to see the interpolation itself so I think that's enough of that. Um, so maybe just one more thing. Like I said, the the uh, clearing the timer is going to stop it entirely. So that's what this is for. So in the end, what you see is that we're saying that we want to call the look at. So it's going to attempt to look at the character. You know, like turn. Um, you know, while it is turning, it is also calculating the delay. You know the delay before you finish and the delay before you finish you know the min and max into now i set it to just you know look for a random float however you can set it to be accurate you know if you want you can actually even use a direct variable here in here if you want and maybe just set that to from you know promote that to a variable if you like and you know of course make sure it's a uh, uh what's the word make sure it's uh Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Public, yes. So that you can edit it outside, editable. Um, and then you have to clear look at after you're done waiting for the interpolation to be done. And you also have to finish you know, execute. The finish execute is when uh, it tells the blackboard that, okay, you know, we're done with this node. We can move on to any other node. So um, the fact that we made these variables here where is it um on bp the fact that we made these variables to be to be uh public means that we can now go on ahead and edit them on the fly on this character so what we're gonna do is just like we have already set this to you know like a sequence here so it's going to wait and then it's going to try to look at the character um, uh, between one and three seconds. Uh, okay, one more thing we might want to do is just add a cooldown so this doesn't just, you know, do every time. I don't know, it, like, it depends on, you know, what we want. Cooldown is here. So cooldown basically means that while it is in cooldown, this node will not fire even though the art, I mean, the execution will actually come to this node. So let's say it should cool down for maybe three seconds. You know, so it's going to attempt to do whatever it's going to do here between once three seconds, and after that, it will come in here and then cool down. During which time, the character will basically be doing the same thing as wait because it's not going to be looking at anyway. But I just wanted to show you the effect of the cooldown. So then, uh, next would probably be you know just clicking on the character in here and just typing in look, and you see, you know, the look at rotation, uh, the rotation speed, and the rotation delta time that we we're talking about before. So then in here, just to make sure, if we leave it like this, you see that the character is now actually rotating. Right. 
and uh, even that's even though you know the default value has been set inside of the, the default you know the initial man bp so what we just do here just uh, quickly test it out and just test out the variables ourselves um for example we can just put in 0 0.001 in here and just see how far that goes So you can see that the turn is instantaneous and then the character does what it wants to do and then turns and faces us again for a while and now it's in cooldown or you know it's doing something else it's doing this if we want to see it like in real time we can just do that and do this and we can see right here what's happening so now it's in cool it's in cooldown now waiting it's in cooldown okay now it's working now it's rotating now it's doing something else entirely now it's in Okay, now it's working again. Yeah, so when, basically, whenever it shows um, a red, a red thing here, right here, that means it's in cooldown at that point. Like right there, when it just showed you right there, yeah, there it was in cooldown. So um, yeah, that's that about that. Now, to, if you don't want the rotation to just be, you know, instantaneous like the way we see it here, where the character just pins immediately, you know, towards the character. You know just like that hold on a second oh wow that, that hurt okay like that you know that i'm going to show you one more time i think if the character doesn't use a particle I, you can see it there again i don't know maybe that was too fast let's try it again oh no i want you to be like opposite of me okay or something like you, you, yeah right there so if you don't want it to be like instantaneous like that um we can just go on ahead and Pick the values here. So let's assume we set the rotation speed to be uh, something like perhaps 20. If we set the rotation time to be like 0 0.01, for example, then we can come in here and then set this to be like 20. And what we'll see is something a bit different. I don't know if you saw it there, but there was a bit of you know easing. There was an interpolation in there. You saw that. So let's try that again. Let's reduce this by one. Zero. So we just have this. Let's see what happens now. Now it's even faster. Right. Okay. Now it's just back to the way it was. So let's reduce this see what happens i just you know okay so now we had oh is it we have that uh uh what's it called again uh let me see what happens if we increase the rotation speed here okay now let's actually reduce this reducing it would make more sense oh good sex i'm not used to my new keyboard <laughs> So, okay, there we go. See that? Yeah, there. So, uh, that's just that. Of course, if you want to, you know, simulate, you know, the actual like movement of like the turn, you know, like you know, to simulate like you know that turn thing, you can just go in ahead and. Uh, use the locomotion state in here for you know just work on the use the actual variables that are driving this you know, so you say that okay you know what you're moving now and blah 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 you know so the character will actually you know turn and pivot and all that just give you one more insight into this so um that is that for that i hope you've learned uh, a little bit from that uh it seems like something really small but it could really, you know, shape uh, your game in several ways. Okay, um, let me know if you have any more uh, requests for tutorials or and whatnot. Uh, I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.